the thing about settling, ladies. You have to realize men have been settling. If you think you are the woman of his, his dreams, you are sorely mistaken. Again, men will marry the woman that is good enough if she is unproblematic and useful to him. All the other stuff that you think you're exceptional at, somebody else can do. So please believe you are not the one settling here. And over the course of the lifetime, because we naturally slow down as women, because men are built for the long haul, they will carry the burden. So they're doing that for somebody that is not their first choice. That solves it, ladies. Y'all, y'all, all this time, y'all thought y'all was selling. We the one selling. Y'all out here think y'all deserve Chris Bryan. Meanwhile, we think we deserve your whole girl to work third shift at your job. And I never really liked that term settling. Like, settling makes me think that you think you better than me. Like, when well, you settle for something, like, I, I, McDonald's wasn't open, so I settled for Burger King. I really wanted McDonald's, but I went to Burger King because McDonald's wasn't available to me. That's what settling is to me. Like, I don't like that term. Exactly. Men been settling. Guys just really don't look at it that way. In the negative way that women look at it. With men, it's the 80% rule all day. Guys, for the most part, see a good candidate and look to work it out from there. With women, the men in their lives, in reality, are always in competition with the phantom options. In their mind, they can get so much better than you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you are in a relationship and you have a partner that's worth holding on to... Don't you let no petty shit make you leave your relationship. A lot of y'all have the false belief that you have options that you absolutely do not have. I am telling you right now, before you let that stupid argument or something small cause you to walk out because you got the false belief that your options. Let me explain something to you. Your work husband, your work wife, your play boyfriend, your side wife, your side husband. They don't really want you. You're fun because you're something to do when there's nothing to do. You may have a lot of people that's lined up to sleep with you. You do not have a whole bunch of people that's lined up to pay your bills. You do not have a whole bunch of people that's willing to work through your insecurities, help you raise your children and grow old with you. A lot of y'all get the false belief because somebody's paying you attention that does not have to give you attention all of the time. It's easy for me to be consistent because all I'm doing is f***ing you. All I got to do is text you. All I got to do is give you the bare minimal. Don't you let a good time f*** up your person for a lifetime. I promise you. <laughs> You are not going to tell me that the only thing a man gets from a woman is nasty sex. How am I not going to tell you that? So you tell me what a man feel he get. No, since you know what a man feel a man get, tell me what a man feels he get. Tell I me. I love that y'all making the point. Tell me what a man feels he get, Azar. Tell I'm not me. a man, so I'm not going to speak for a man. You to, I'm up out of here. Bye. You just spoke for a man. Bye. You just sat here for 20 minutes telling me how a man feel what he get. That's all we get. Aww. That's not true. No, listen. Listen. <laughs> He's telling you. Exactly. This is why y'all don't want to care what the fuck a man wants. I she care. Ain't, she ain't even listening. It. Say it. Say it, friend. I care. All we get is sex. That's your reward. Let me put that in context. Yeah, that's your reward. That's your reward. Yeah. You are not about to buy not one man a motherfucking house. <laughs> You're not about to buy one man a motherfucking car. You don't got to go bust your ass to buy a car, a house, pay a mortgage. So buy is, a, no, no, is, no, a, no, is a kid not listen. getting something? Oh, is wow. he carrying? A it's already been stamped. You're supposed to be the what? Provider. We have the pressure. I have to figure out how to buy this house, build this house, get this house, the, the rock, who, 10 times the salary for the ring. We have to do all these things. Oh, there's a sound. What is that? Let me go downstairs and- Bruh, did I just hear access to sex? Getting a kid is a reward? Really? <laughs> I mean, like only men benefit, right? I mean, are you are you guys really letting women run this game on you? Are you letting them are you letting them run game on you like this? Because this is the type of shit I don't like, bro. At some point, you guys got to catch on. You got to catch on. If a woman has this mindset and tries to use sex as a weapon or for leverage, then she really was never into you. If was one thing you wish men understood better about women, what would it be? Like when something is fine, it's not fine. Like read, like read between the lines. You mean be a mind reader? 
Yeah, exactly. So, so men are expected to be mind readers. Exactly. Why do women often expect men to do things that they're not physically capable of? I don't know. I, I haven't encountered... Like, I don't do that. <laughs> like, I don't expect men to do things they're incapable of. Isn't that what you just said, though? Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Being a mind reader? Well, yeah. you want us to read between the lines, right? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Who's better at communication, men or women? Women. Okay, so if men are worse at communication, why do so many women expect men to read their body language? I think men are better communicators logically. Women are better with, like, communicating, like, emotionally. Okay, can you think of any situation where logic wouldn't outweigh emotions? I think logic should always outweigh emotion. Yeah. You can't make this shit up, people. Break up with him if? If he cheats, if he's a man. When you did have a boyfriend, did you dress like this when you're going out? Hella. There was some that were uncomfortable. When I was with just recently, no, like he would love if I wore this. He's just like a man. You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? <laughs> Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not what I meant. I think you are misogynistic though. But what does misogynistic mean though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the, the... I'm tripping. Really just looks like they parrot what the next girl says, without really giving it much thought or thinking it through. Basically, a man who has standards, then you're misogynistic at this point. If you got boundaries, forget about it. Y'all might want to get a clue. I'm not gonna downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then, what's the difference now? But see, what he did was this though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah. You understand? So, so let me just go though. So we didn't work out, me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Upgrade it, stay with me. If not, go see what's out oh, there. Oh, so then that. So then if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically. Not for them. If you well, want to live like this, it comes with being with me. My current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you, and that's the only way I can have it in this moment. You want him to keep your lifestyle up, keep paying your bills, keep you on that same upgraded level. No, you were dating a man that had money, so dating him came with a lifestyle. But if we're not working and our love is dead, I don't owe you to keep paying your, your car note and your mortgage. Title. I'm not entitled to. Now, title, realistically, though. that isn't really my job. You should find you a man like me and upgrade to him and, and keep your but lifestyle. That that takes time. So I just feel like if someone had me on a certain pedestal, you're not just because I we no longer working, you're not just going to rip the pedestal from me. We don't do that here. Can't be serious with this shit, bruh. Can't be serious. <laughs> she can't possibly justify this right here, man. So she needs to add sympathy and shaming tactics to get a man to do something woefully dumb like this. She said, you want me to stay with you for these items, right? Like, he shouldn't get something for what he gives, right? You was under the budget because you was with him. The difference is you're not with him anymore. What do, like what do we talk about here, man? Like she never heard of taking the loss. Sometimes you gotta take that. Sometimes you gotta take that L. And the bottom line, you should have enjoyed it and appreciated it while you had the chance, while you had it. By all accounts, sounds like you're not a wife. He just took care of you while he was with you, right? Y'all not married. You know, as a man, why you giving her a severance package? Just so she can go ahead and get her back blown by some other dude. What? I don't think so. Men are starting to value peace over pussy. If this woman is not bringing you peace, send her back to the streets. A lot of women are not understanding that males and men are completely different. When it comes to the males, they tolerate disrespect, neglect, being emasculated, having to chase up behind you, beg you to act right. No man would ever. A lot of the males are the ones that a lot of us vibrate with. We attract them because all we're used to dealing with and attracting are males and getting away with certain things. When it comes to men, we feel like all 25 of them let me get this all, so you should be the same way. And men don't go for that shit at all. They know their value. Men will upgrade you, elevate you, help you to evolve, mature and grow as a woman. They understand what they bring. Men rely on your self-esteem being low to tolerate their bullshit. Men do, do they? I actually believe the correct way to phrase that would be some men that happen to have themselves very low self-esteem. That is actually, I would say, that is the number one thing that most men are looking for. 
And I would say that one does not actually have a very firm grasp on reality in regards to what the majority of men are indeed looking for. If they see that you have a high self-esteem, they are going there. They're going to try their very hardest to break it down so that you can have a low sense of yourself. A common thread that I have been noticing in regards to a lot of the videos that I have been seeing in which some women are indicating that most men do certain things. Take into consideration the fact that a lot of these women are drawn to the same types of men over and over again. And therefore, they seem to think that all men do these things when in fact it's only the type of men that they continue to associate with. Nah, you just been getting with the wrong ones. You must have caught you a ditty or something. One of them weirdos. Because the good dudes I know uplift their women. Pretty much every chance they get. Pulling from the same rope. So, like, really like the clips before, you have to really challenge why women like this would say this and have this opinion. Like, to really see where it comes from. The flip side to what she was saying is many women don't respond well to criticism right or their opinions or decisions being challenged this might cause her to think guys want to bring her down when they really just holding her accountable but yes sir yes sir let me know what y'all think definitely hit me in them comments like share subscribe you know how we do bang on that like button bang on that like button that's my time for the day this is ek real spicy signing out and i'm gonna check y'all in the next video